85% of the deputies have no faith in his leadership. Well, that was the vote of no confidence just yesterday. And Broward Sheriff Scott Israel, thank you for being here. And we're just going to start it off with a very direct question. Give us your best reason why you feel you should stay on as the sheriff of Broward County. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me on. You know, as I've said all week, that vote was absolutely inconsequential for, for, for three reasons. Reason number one, um, the arrogance of the union boss to think that the one small union or one small faction of a union of seven or eight unions I deal with would decide who the sheriff of Broward County is. Mm -hmm. There are two million people in Broward County, and uh, one, one million of those are the voters. As always, our American system was put in place that elected officials will be picked by the people for the people and the power of the people will always be greater than the people in power. This, uh, this Broward County has elected us and re-elected us by an incredibly large margin. The love and support that we have from the citizens of Broward County and from absolutely most of our agency and the other 5,000 people is incredible. So I'll continue to do my job. I'll continue to be accountable to all the citizens of Broward County and do the job that I was elected to do. Have um, you, Sheriff, I'm sorry, go ahead. have I'm your sorry, deputies sorry. ever gone out and done an anonymous poll of people in Broward County or has the Sheriff's Department ever done that as to the confidence in you as the sheriff from the people? Uh, not to my knowledge, but, uh, you know, as you know, I'm an incredibly visible sheriff. I go to so many places. I'm absolutely connected to our community, and I know the the calls and the texts and the face-to-face -face contact and how I'm received and how, you know, our community, uh, our, the people that uh, aren't, you know, spoken about are not on radio and TV interviews, how the multitudes feel about this, you know, this union vote the same way I do. Um, it, it was, um, you know, it was appalling to think that when uh, the union boss came to talk to me and he asked for a 6.5% pay raise when the most any other member of the agency received was 3%, more than double what anyone else received. And when I told him that couldn't happen, he, uh, he said that uh, based on the aftermath of Parkland, it has been a PR nightmare for me, his words, me and the... Uh, agency and we couldn't afford that and he was going to seek a vote of no confidence and he directly tied that to the pay raise it was shameful it was disappointing um but it, it's not going to deter what you know i i i need to do and what i was elected to do so much of this conversation sheriff it as as it should be is about school security uh you know we know about msd we know about uh you know the efforts to to beef up that school after that how about the other schools in broward county not just high schools either what's been done since february 14th to harden these schools and to, to do our best to make sure this never happens again well i i went on a uh, a trip to indiana with uh mr runcy uh, our superintendent uh, the um, some of the parents uh, of some of those tr precious, precious children who who lost their lives in this horrific attack, and we visited what they call the safest uh, school in America. Um, there were takeaways from that. This would be something that, to harden these targets that would be you know between the school board and the county and receiving money. Um, I we the governor. I was so uh, pleased and. Uh, supportive of the, you know, the risk protection orders and the governor's mandate of uh, a school resource officer or deputy in every school and the things that now, you know, we need to do. So uh, a lot of the hardening the targets is the responsibility of the, of the school boards and th they would need the funding source. As of right now, as of this morning, how many deputies are at Stoneman Douglas? We have uh, five. I don't have the exact count. We have at least uh, five deputies there, and we have a, uh, uh, a, a contingent of uh, uh, troopers from the Florida Highway Patrol. So, you know, there's quite a bit of law enforcement at Stone, Stoneman Douglas. The plan is to keep them there through the end of the school season, and then uh, everything will be reevaluated, and uh, a lot of it will be contingent upon 
you know, the funding of the cities and uh, and do they want to increase their de- you know their deputies? Do they want to um, increase the size of the deputies assigned to the city or the police officers assigned to the cities? Because there are going to be mandates now to have school resource officers or deputies in all our schools. But even with the resources as they are right now, I mean, can't you sort of divert some officers to you know, more school security? Can't you? I mean, can't that be done right now without any other decision coming from Tallahassee? Uh, no, because uh, you can take away from put a deputy in a school or a police officer in a school, but then you're taking that officer or that. Uh, deputy away from the zone or the area of the city that he is to, you know, is to protect and who's going to answer calls for service, you know, uh, if people need help and what have you. So we need more police officers. That, that's the answer. Broward Sheriff Scott Israel, our guest on the South Florida Morning Show at News Talk 850 WFTL. My daughter goes to another school in Broward County, another high school, and there's one resource officer. Have you heard complaints, Sheriff, from other parents, from other students at other high schools about the lack of security versus their school versus Stoneman Douglas? Yes, we're starting to hear that. Uh, I don't have a specific parent in a specific school. But we have received, you know, the, the the folks in the field. And when I go to events, people have come up to me and asked if other schools will be treated, you know, the same as Stoneman Douglas. Sure. And, uh, you know, and, and, that, and that's a reasonable that's a reasonable request. You know, uh, you, we, we need to protect fairly. We need to protect everyone. So these are a- absolute concerns. Knowing what you know now about how it was received, would you have done the CNN ta- town hall again? Would you would you have gone back in time in a time capsule and changed that decision to go on there? You know that is such a great and fair question. Um, I wish I could. Uh, oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about the interview. Uh, both. No, I, both. I prob- I mean, no, I probably. You know, I was asked at the, uh, very very late in the game to come on, and uh, you know the, the way I was asked to to be part of was the original panel. Now I can't explain it. You know, I don't make those decisions, mm-hmm. but I was told that. I, I would not be part of the original panel, that it would just be the, the senators and, uh, uh, and uh, I think it was Senator Bill Nelson, Senator Rubio, uh, and, and the congressman, Congressman Deutsch, and that I would be going on with uh, another person uh, to talk about the Stoneman Douglas for school safety. So if I knew that was the format or what have you, no, I, I, wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have done it again. Anything else you would like to relive or take back? Well, I wish I could take back the the, 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 the day, you know, the the, the, the killings, the, the 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 mess. Yeah, but cell phone might have cut out there a little bit, Sheriff. But uh, Broward Sheriff Scott Israel actually went to Stoneman. Can you hear me? Yep, cutting yeah, out a little. We got you back now. now. Go yeah, ahead. There, go ahead. I was saying, uh, you know, I I, I wish I. Wish I could have been there. And there's a lot of men and women in law enforcement who wish they could have been there that day. Uh, but it, you know, but the uh, the hardest part is I knew some of the people. I was a very good friends with Coach Aaron Feist. I coached with him. My triplets went to Stoneman Douglas. Um, it was very hard. You know, uh, I lived in that community for 20 years, raised our children in that community, and uh, it, it, it's a tragedy of monumental proportions and we pray every day for those families and that somehow some way they receive some small comfort well in in the re, the aftermath of a tragedy like that you hope that it's positive changes and you hope that we get uh, we get those kinds of positive changes as we go on from so here true. But we appreciate your time well, sheriff scott israel thank you thank you thank you for having me on all right news talk 850 wftl